YouTube, welcome to the channel. This is the carpenter here. I am going to sharpen my chainsaw chain and I am going to show you how to do it. Hand file. I got some videos. Oh, my shop's messy. I got some videos of this bad boy right here. This is from Harbor Freight. And, you know, I'm not a big fan of Harbor Freight, but I do got some things from Harbor Freight um, that I do like a lot, like that, and uh, that, and that, and that. But, um, yeah, that I do like a lot, but, again, like, it's Harbor Freight, guys. So, um, with that being said, I'm going to hand file my chain, my chain on my chainsaw today or tonight, and I'm going to show you guys out there how I do it. Um, I'm not saying it's the right way. I'm not saying it's the wrong way. I'm just saying it's my way, and it's quite effective. Uh, I logged for about seven years. Um, I set chokers. Um, I fell a little bit. I tr climbed a little bit of trees, but I was mostly a choker dog. But I worked around logging sites for many years, and. Um, you know, I worked around power saws to be exact. I love power saws. Shout out to Buck and Billy, Buck and Billy Ray. Um, that's my guy, man. Love and peace, man. Love one another. And, you know, he, he always says that, man. I just, I don't, if anyone, go check him out. And then, uh, Buck and Billy Ray Smith, I think, is his, uh, his channel. And he's just, he's awesome. The most po positive individual I've ever come across. So he's just a joy to watch. And he has a great channel, has great content. And if you're into the stuff that I like, like power saws, power tools, building, carpentry, woodwork, logging, um, check out that channel. So, no further ado, let's move forward. Um, I'm going to be sharpening my, my steel 297 or 291. I think it's 291. Yeah, my steel 291 today. Um, this is my workhorse. Um, I like steel. You know, there's a lot of guys who like Husqvarna, uh, but my, me, I like Echo and Steel. I'm not really a Husqvarna guy. I'm not really a Poland guy. Um, I just want that. And of course, I love um, um, McCulloch. Of course, I love, I have a bunch of McCulloch saws. You know, I collect McCulloch saws. Um, one of my favorite saw I own is my uh, McCulloch Power Pro 1010. So, um, but... I like to run steels or echoes. Um, I'm probably going to get hammered in the comments below, but hey, it's whatever, right? I'm an echo guy and a steel guy. There's nothing wrong with that, right, guys? <laughs> so, all right, can you all see me? Can you see the, the chain? I hope so. Um, so, first thing I do is I get my, my saw up here. Put it in the vise, crimp it down, crimp it down, all right? And then I take my marker, my black marker. You can use a Sharpie. You know, I usually use a Sharpie, but I can use this black pen right here. And um, you pick a tooth, right? And you color it black. Okay? This is your starting tooth. Now, you don't sharpen this tooth right now. You step back and you start on that one, the one behind the one you marked. Okay? Okay? So we're just gonna go with sharpening teeth. I'm not gonna tell about risers or or um, anything like that. You can sharpen your dogs. Well, that's another video, but we're just gonna strictly talk about getting in the gullet, okay? Getting in the gullet, getting it sharp so it, it pulls wood, okay? It rips wood out. So mark your tooth, okay? Put your marker away. Disengage your uh, lock. Pull all the way up to where your tooth starts to go around the nose of your bar. Lock it down. Step back one, skip one. Start on that chain tooth. Get at your 45 degree angle. I like to go at a 45 degree angle, then cock it a little bit more and push. Okay, come back, push. Go back, push. You know, and, and as time goes on, you know, you can just push. I mean, some people have the guide, okay? Some people have this guide. And I recommend if you're not 
familiar with using a file, hand filing your your chains, you start with this. You start with the saw saw guide or the the file guide. Okay, and you set that right on the tooth there, and it just gives you a guide to run your run your um. On your file right in that gullet, you know, and over time, as you, as you get better, you can take the, the guide guard off. But we're gonna, for the video's sake, for the guys out there who aren't good that good yet and they're trying to get better, we're gonna just start with the guide. So put your guide on, and your guide has angles 22 degrees, um, 30 degrees. Um, 25 degrees, 22 degrees. So I like to sit at, where are we at here? Where are we at? I like to sit at, hmm, probably about 22 degrees, 30, 25 degrees. We'll probably be at about 25 degrees. So, yeah, you get in there, make sure it's level. Don't be up, don't be down, don't be crooked. Just get your get your good angle, you know, to where you're sitting down there in that gullet. Give it a push. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and so on. I go about 12. 12 is right. Or until, you know, you as you do this long enough, you can feel the file grabbing the metal and, and filing it out. You can feel that. And then it eventually gets smooth and you don't get the, the binding up. It's just real smooth. And you know your goal is sharp, okay? So then you step back and then you take your flat file and you just run one swipe across the top. Boom. And that's deadly. That is deadly. Ooh, that's sharp. I love it. I love it, guys. That one right there. That one right there. And we're, ooh, we're in business. Okay. And now you do every, every tooth on this angle would be every other tooth. So this one, skip. This one, skip. This one. Okay, and you just work your way down each tooth. Boom. Boom. Disengage your saw lock. Pull it forward. Work back down the row. Boom. Boom. Oh, wow, this is biting in so good. This file is perfect. Now, every there's different size files out there for each different chains. This chain uh, prefers the smaller, skinnier file. I got a thicker file too that I use on my bigger chains. Um, but um, this is primarily my setup here. Um, I got my I got my saw. Okay, in on my I got a. I hoist it up here by this piece of uh, uh, railroad tie, and it's, the bar goes through my clamp or my vise. I got it vise tightened down to where it's holding it really steady, sturdy, and then there's still clearance for me to move my my chain through while on while in position to file. This is the best best um, setup that I've come across. I mean, this is what most guys usually do. Um, like I said, I was pretty much self-taught, you know, just asking questions and on the log site, you know, picking people's brains, watching videos, watching guys like Billy, <clears throat> uh, Buck and Billy Ray, um, stuff like that. And um, again, again, guys, love one another. All right, this world is too... Too, um, too hectic to be full of hate, so just love one another. So, anyways, 
there's our colored tooth right there. So we're about right down to here. So we've gotten to right there. We're gonna lock it. And then we're gonna get to get the filing. So down there in that gullet, you can see the angle I'm at. You wanna keep that consistent angle. See, and there's the top of the there's the top of the tooth right there. Just wrapped right around the top of that file. You're getting getting down there real nice. Look at that. See friends? See what I'm doing? You know, Buck and Billy Ray has a great video about this. Um, but everyone has their own way. Everyone has their own way of hand filing their saws. And some people are real anal about it. Some people are real, you know, they don't really care. And some people like me or or just, you know, it's done this way and that's the way I'm going to do it. And I'm not going to change for nobody. <laughs> so... For the years, I used a hand file to do my my um, my my, uh, my chains, but uh, one day I just got a wild hair up my butt and um, went out and got me this. And this thing, let me tell you, is really cool. It's you know it's Harbor Freight. I don't know how long it's gonna last. There's heavier duty ones out there, but for right now. I mean, I mostly hand file, so when I do use this thing, it, it really, it's awesome, you know, and it works really well. Um, I, I do have to say that is something from Harbor Freight that is worth the money. Um, it really is. Um, it really is awesome. So, back to filing. So, we got our angle, and we just run through all of our teeth like this, okay? Until we get to our what? our colored tooth all right so that's telling us we are done for that for that angle of those teeth so what do we do now take another color i like to use um blue okay now we're doing this angle Okay, so we're, what we're doing, friends, is we're, we're reversing the angle. So now we were, we were like this. Now we're like this, and we're, pull, and we're pulling, and we're pulling it through. Or I've seen guys, the way I do it, is I put my arm over like this, and I push it. And I push it through. I'm gonna have to give you to give you a better look. I'm gonna have to put the, put the camera down, but this is what we do here. This is the way I do it. Okay. Okay. Take, come over your saw. Get the tip of your uh, file down in the gullet. Push and repeat. And repeat. Ooh, see it biting in? That means it's dull. Ooh, there you go. And just knock all that shit loose. You know, knock that loose. Until it's nice and smooth. And then once you get that nice smooth action like that, mm, there we go. That's what we're looking for. Just like that. Just like that. Then... That's deadly. That is wicked. Wicked deadly. Ooh, that is wicked deadly. Then you move down to the next one. Lock your saw. Yeah, it's really hard because it's dull. Let's see if I can give you another guys another review. My GoPro is dead right now, so I'm using <clears throat> excuse me, I'm using my phone, guys. So just bear with me. So um, here we go. We're starting from the other side. I got my arm over my saw, and I'm over above it, making sure my my angle's right. There's the tip of the tooth right in the gullet. Let me push again. 
push. Again, push until it's smooth like that. And then this is what we come up with. You know, where is it? Is it right there. Right there. So you can tell that these these guys need sharpening compared to this side. You can see right come on focus. Maybe we got shininess here. See, like this guy needs to be sharpened. You know. you know, and you just keep taking off shavings until you got yourself a tooth that looks nice and pretty and shiny and happy. Ready to go out there and do work. Okay. So that was a tutorial, a quick tutorial on hand sharpening your teeth. There's lots more to it. You know, there's another, I'm going to come out with another video on your risers. Okay. Um, the top of your tooth, running your flat saws. Like this. Excuse me, but running your flat saw around the top, giving yourself a top, uh, top angle, very sharp, and your risers, you know, getting down your risers, making sure they're down, you know, and uh, as you can see, I've got that done on here, but that's another video, and uh, I'll, I'll get more in depth in it, and um, but you will need a, a flat file, a good one, nice fine tooth. Um, some guys use gauges. Um, I usually do, but I don't have one on me at this moment, but it's a gauge that you put over, put over the tooth. Anyways, I'll show you on the next video. That's another video. So, but as for this one, that's a wrap guys. I hope you got something out of it. Um, please comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you hate it. Let me know if you like it. Please smash the, the bell, um, the notification and, um, just uh, be be positive and be happy and love one another, guys, and just love life. Um, it's short. You never know what's going to come the next day, so enjoy every moment. All right, guys, we'll catch you on the flip side. Oh, and I just want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. Unbelievable support. I'm getting, um, I'm glad you guys are finding something uh, worth while in my on my channel uh, i'm gonna keep it up and um just keep on coming and subscribing and and making this channel grow and um, reaching out and connecting communities to this community's content this content is great man i love it i love youtube i love the whole thing everything about it so stay positive guys we'll catch you on the flip side